Bitcoin is gaining a lot of attention both on the way up and then most recently on the way down. Are you interested in investing in it? Should you invest in it? Got three things you need to consider before you'd consider jumping into Bitcoin. I've got that coming up. My name is Mike Bernard. I am the host of the Wise Money Show. I'm also one of the certified financial planners right here at Corhorn Financial Group. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and smash that thumbs up button. Mark Cuban today, like him or not, came out and said cryptocurrencies right now are exactly, comma, exactly in all bold, uh, like the dot-com bubble. Exactly he said, as it's trading wildly over the past two weeks. I'm not sure when you're consuming this, but let me give you context. Very, it's the first half of January 2021. And what we saw is that Bitcoin was up 43% year to date. In the first seven trading days of 2021, it was up 43%. Now, on Monday, okay, is when I'm recording this, Monday, January 11th, it's down over 26% since its highs on Friday. That's an enormous correction, what would be considered, you know, Black Monday sort of event in the stock market. And yet, because Bitcoin can trade um, outside of normal stock market hours, yeah, we're at more than one trading day here, but that is a cosmic drop for something that has uh, garnered so much attention for its fly, uh, its high flying and soaring price. So are you interested in investing? Let, let me just give you one other point for context here. I had a client who, um, we don't help them with their accounting and taxes, he runs a business and, and his accountant reached out to me last week and asked if this client could do a Roth IRA contribution. I said, no, makes too much money. And the, the accountant said, well, what about a backdoor Roth IRA contribution? And I said, uh, I thought to myself, I don't need to be explaining this to you. You're an accountant. You should know how this works. But I said, can't do a backdoor Roth that has a simple IRA. So it just kind of mess, you know, muddies things up. And the accountant replied back to me, and this is a true story. CPA, who's a partner at a major, major accounting institution said, okay, yep, I understand that. I was just looking for a way for this client, said person, to get money into a Roth IRA so they could invest in Bitcoin and have all of the growth tax free. Now, I have no idea where Bitcoin's going to go in the future. Um, I actually do believe there's something to this whole blockchain and tokening. I, I think there's that potential that it has either massive potential or it goes nowhere. So your Bitcoin bet or, or investment has enormous upside or goes to zero. And, and I don't know the future just like you don't. And so lots of people who, are, who have done more research and more thinking on the blockchain stuff and what Bitcoin is very, feel very, very passionately about this. But as an investment, as an investment, before you would jump into Bitcoin, I'd want you to consider three things first before you jump in, okay? I know how high it's, how quickly it has run up in value has you thinking maybe I should or I'm missing out if I don't, but do these three, consider these three things first before you invest in Bitcoin. The first thing I'd want you to do is understand it. Understand it. Now, understand it even better than, than I do. I started reading a 69-page document from the, from the uh, Chartered Financial Analyst Organization, the CFA Institute, over the weekend because there, you've just got to understand the important or, or the, um, the functions of blockchain and how Bitcoin fits in with that. I would want you to understand central bank digital currency and the current discussions and, and how how that's flowing, I'd want you to understand what Bitcoin is before you'd even consider investing in it. And I would say understand it even better than I do. I understand financial instruments. I even understand a little bit how gold works and, and the pricing of it. And But I'd want you to first understand Bitcoin. It's easy with really any investment to, to look at its performance and say, I want some of that or I should have some of that. Or, or whatever, and, and, and with Bitcoin, the reason it's moving so much in value and the reason it's, got, it's garnered so much attention is because of 
its future potential. And, and I, would, I would just want you to take a moment and read about Bitcoin. I mean, we all know that there are tons of videos right here on YouTube about Bitcoin. And I would, I would just encourage you first, take a moment to understand it. The second thing I would encourage you to do is to get comfortable, put your seatbelt on really. If you're going to consider investing in Bitcoin, put your seatbelt on, expect, brace yourself for volatility, expect volatility, it will come. Because in 2020, um, Bitcoin had an enormous ride up, almost up 500% for the year. So in the, an unbelievable year, however, at two different points, at two, not just one, at two different points, it had a significant correction. So during the March drop where, uh, where we had the shutdowns and the stock market dropped 33% over those uh, about six weeks there, four to six weeks, Bitcoin dropped 50% in two weeks. Okay, a 50% reduction in two weeks. And then later in the, in the late summer, early fall, Bitcoin dropped about 33% in a couple of weeks as well. So in, in a year that had lots of you know, uh, optimism about Bitcoin and the performance was fantastic, depending on when you bought and when you sold, you, you were gonna see a lot of volatility. And just like I said today, that to start 2021, Bitcoin was up 43% in a couple days. And then it dropped over 26% within a couple days as well. So just expect, expect volatility. And that leads to the third consideration or even rule. And it's not something to do, it's something not to do. Do not borrow money to invest in Bitcoin. Guys, right now, and, and I would say the same thing with gold, is Bitcoin and gold, for that matter, is really more of a speculative investment. If you're looking at it from an investment standpoint, it's more speculative. Why? Because Bitcoin at this point doesn't generate anything. There's no revenue, there's no expenses, there's no profit, there's no dividend. You're purely investing in it. You're willing to pay today's price because you believe and you'd expect to be able to sell it at a higher price. And you might say, this guy's an idiot. The only reason you invest is to do those things. I know that. But within Coca-Cola, for example, I can do the math to tell you that, well, the revenue on Coca-Cola is this, their expenses are this, their profit is this, and you know what? If they have this much market share, if they expand their market share to this, or if the population continues to grow by this, then someday their revenue, instead of being here, it will be here. And instead, of, you know, you can mathematically get and arrive at a, a, a kind of share price value or a, a a market value for a company to determine whether you believe this is a good share price to buy at or not for a company, okay? You can't do that with gold or Bitcoin. It's more speculative. And right now, we have interest rates at all time lows and more and more people are investing on margin. We have a record high and we've, we've surpassed all other levels of margin investing right now. And when you look at how high Bitcoin has gone just in the short term, many, many, many people look and say, oh, I can borrow. I can borrow at two and a half or three percent. My Bitcoin's going up at five percent a day. I'll borrow at two and a half or three percent per year and I'll make gobs and gobs more than that. And you borrow money and you invest in something that's speculative that can, yes, absolutely run up in value, but you could lose everything or it could drop 50% in a matter of a couple days or a couple weeks. Guys, when you do that and you're borrowing money, that's where you are using leverage and potentially could create an absolute disaster in your overall financial life. Could some people borrow money, invest in Bitcoin and be right? Absolutely. It, I'm, I'm purely talking about speculation and I would want you to invest in a way that's consistent with your overall, your entire financial life, all six areas, not just 
trying to buy here and sell here regardless of the risk. Making sure that you are, are taking the right level of investment risk for your goals and your situation. So therefore, if you've understood what Bitcoin is, if you understand the volatility, don't borrow money to invest in it. Invest the right amount, but still stay diversified and don't double down, don't leverage, don't don't wrap up all of your personal savings or other assets into this one investment, being able to buy it here and sell it someday up here. But I, guys, I think there's a lot to this uh, blockchain, a lot to digital currency. I think the optimism and the, the curiosity is warranted. I, re I really do. And yet at the same time, before I would jump on the bandwagon, I'd want you to do those three things. Work with your CFP, see if it makes a lot of sense for you. If it does, wonderful, fit this into your overall investment approach. If you don't have a CFP on your team, you can reach out to one on my team. Find us online, corehorn.com, that's corehorn with K, or wisemoneyshow.com, or just send us an email, info at corehorn.com. All right, there you have it. Go out and take your next wise step in your financial life.